My milkshake brings all the boys <laughs> to the yard. <laughs> Your life. Hello, Mega Shed Diary, 25th of May, 24. Uh, we're here at a very soggy Ella Park for Fab Racing Round 2 Motor Team. Oh, bike here. I've uh, done some uh, fairing work. I've um, fairing that someone gave me for free. The other one was getting a bit tatty. So I spent a lot of time this week getting this ready. I'm calling it a 10 foot special because that's how far you away you have to be to make it look good. Uh, so I've got my badge and logos on there. I uh, was expecting it to be dry. Um, watching the weather forecast this week, thought oh, there might be a few showers. Last night forecast is going to be wet all weekend, so I'm hoping I'm not going to fall off and uh, knack on my new fairing, but there's a very high chance of that. Anyway, we're about to go out for qualifying one. There's Matt over here, I'll be chasing him. Uh, well, let's see how it goes. Mega shout out. qualifying one done um, it went fairly well it was very very wet um, but apparently I was second fastest overall uh, 1056 or 1055 um, so yeah it looks good uh, there's the O'Keefe boys have uh, not decided to get out of bed yet so I'm expecting they'll be a bit quicker when they appear for qualifying too but I'm quite happy with that that's the highest I've ever been in the order so make a shed out for now speak to you later Okay, yeah, qualifying two mock team, uh, not so good. I went a little bit faster, but then so did everyone else. Uh, much drier out there, so about I finished up uh, fourth in class, motor team standard, and sixth overall. Uh, so again, those pesky old Keith father and son duo, they're what? They had 1043, 1048, and I was at 105 dead. So I'll be behind them on the grid, trying to chase them down. Uh, so fingers crossed for first race later today and uh, just see if I can keep with them and maybe pass. Let's see how it goes. Speak to you later, bye bye. Also, I've got some uh, Gucci custom parts made for me by uh, a nice Charlie M's on his lathe. And I have some captive spaces. So, uh, instead of those bits of metal falling out every time I change the wheel, I've got a nice lip on the inside of the oil seals. So he's gonna do me a few sets of those. Good lad that he is, just gonna cost me a case of beer. Cheers. Mega shout out. If I remember correctly anyway, let's look to the lights, shall we? Time to go racing in Moto Team. We are underway. Bit of a launch at the start from Harris and Ike. As the front kicks up into the air. As I say that, Jack Van Eden to the inside on the number 17 machine. What can he do? Does he get the lead indeed? A great job. Slightly wider line coming through the final turn. That's going to allow him to take a bit more speed onto the straight four of hunkering down on the brake. Something flying across the circuit there in the background. Looked like a some debris of some sort doesn't look like it was off one of the bikes but uh yeah interesting me racing are on the scene but the 65 not waiting for anybody to showcase this pace he'll be riding his way onto the penultimate lap but building that buffer now he's got a bike in between himself and the next bike in class his race to lose it's close but coming to the final corner my goodness me, if you told Harrison O'Keefe a year ago he'd be taking a race with a five race, he'd have laughed and told you to shut up. With one turn to go, almost contact to prove a point. Harrison! No! no! Harrison O'Keefe at the line crashes. Ben O'Keefe takes the win in the standard class nonetheless. And O'Keefe. Well, I just come back from race one. This is probably the wettest race I've done in years. Uh, managed to stay on which is good and managed to inherit third place in class so third in motor team standards uh, unfortunately I forgot to press record and didn't film it because there was a red flag in the previous race and we were sat waiting for ages um, but it was pretty boring I took up took like one place off the start and then just everyone else left me and I stayed on my own and then uh, the guy that was in front of me unfortunately binned it on the last lap so I inherited third uh, praying for some slightly drier weather tomorrow, but uh, it's forecast for thunderstorms. So I'll catch up with you race two and tomorrow, Sunday. It's time to go racing. Oh, seven. 
several jump starts there, including Paul said his team Acme Racing, but we are on the way in race number two of the Moto Team class. They all negotiate their way to that tight and tricky and technical first corner. It will be uh, Team Atme Racing leading the way but of course we saw there visually there was a bit of a jump start we've just been told in our ears from race control they are investigating jump starts as well Ben O'Keefe slides up into second place uh, overall he is currently leading in the standard uh, second place in the standard class should I say but there's for sure going to be some penalties heading the way for a few of the bikes out there. So that could really change the landscape of the race early on. Yeah, of course. Stands on the number 64 bike. That is the fight, not just for the overall win, but for the standard class win as well. Meanwhile, it is now Malcolm Stein on the number 11. He's P3 overall, leading the way in the Open. Yeah, doing a brilliant job. Of course, it was P2 this time yesterday to Jack Van Eden, who looked very calm and composed on the bike. Couple of looks to the inside as well. Team and the Badger, uh, of course, that's the motor team standard. That's for P2. Ben O'Keefe for the standard podium as well. Sean Whitaker, not a million miles off. So all this Constantino effect, this pack racing is for some very prestigious uh, positions with just eight laps left to go. That's the gap at the lead, of course, between Team Acme Racing and Ben O'Keefe, the 64... Meanwhile, Jack Van Eden continuing to uh, hold off the guys behind him, even though they are in a different class. Uh, just again, racing for trackside glory, I suppose, rather than for actual points as well. Trying to go the long way around there. That is a brave mood from the number 101, should I say, of Sean Whitaker trying to get through the 119 of Team Ernie the Badger, but just not able to make it appear. And at the back of that pack, who's that I see? The 65 of Harrison O'Keefe is now closing in and trying to negotiate his way around. Oh, has a little look to the inside. Harrison O'Keefe thought about it. Didn't quite make it work. This time, maybe Sean Whitaker can try and find his way through Team Ernie. The Badger has to sit the bike up. Coming into the hairpin down at the paddock. And it Van Eden, of course, not a typical fab competitor. You see him maybe once or twice a season. And oh, oh no, and he's dropped in. Stein manages somehow to stay on his feet. Jack Van Eden, what went wrong there? Did he? Oh, look at the bottom end of the bike. The fairy heavily damaged as well. That covers the exhaust. riding from them. Ben O'Keefe will come home in second place overall and in the standard class as Sean Whitaker manages to take P3 overall and standard as well. Time will tell. Red lights on, red lights off. We are underway. Great start from Team Happy Racing there. Looks like Ben O'Keefe, bit of a wheelie. Jacques Van Eden goes to the lead up the inside of turn one. 
That leads overall, not just in the open class. We saw a similar thing in race two. Hey, it could well be able to close that gap. Bit of a kerfuffle going down into the final corner, and that could well be why is that the 64? Oh, more issues, Ben O'Keefe. Oh, heartbreak for Ben O'Keefe. Why comes to a stop? That could potentially be clutch related there. Sean Whitaker to the inside. Oh, goodness me. That was to the inside of Malcolm Stein and shoving him out of the way. I know it's actually, it looks like it's Ben O'Keefe. Harrison O'Keefe even. Brave stuff from Sean Whitaker. Aggressive stuff, pushing the envelope, but still absolutely fair from him. True it is, as Charlie M's on the 2 through one I think, has had issues. Meanwhile, there goes Sean Whitaker up into second overall and second in the standard class. Whitaker up in a peak three then in the standard class. And slowly but surely reeling in Team Ernie the Badger. That's going to be the fight for P2. Maybe the win is out of reach with Team Happy Racing so dominant out in front. But P2 is on the cards and we could well have a decent battle for it. Jack Van Eden hanging on quite nicely to the open victory as things stand, provided he's able to keep it pointing the right way and keep the bike nice and upright. Of course, just keeping it on the tarmac, keeping it exactly where it needs to be. The 119 of Team Ernie and the Badger, though, slightly held up, it must be said, by Van Eden, and that could allow Harrison O'Keefe to get involved and go for P3. Train, of course, led by Jacques Van Eden, the 119. That's Team Ernie and the Badger going for the move, looking to the inside of the hairpin uh, across class battle, but a battle nonetheless that is going to affect each and every single one of them. That's and They're both fighting as well for the final podium place in the standard class. So... It is a bit problematic, but that's the nature of multi-class racing. It gets beautiful like that sometimes. A beautiful mess as, wow, what a move that is from the 119 to get up into the podium places in the standard class and overtake Harrison O'Keefe there. Great stuff from them. It's going to be two laps to go very, very shortly. And these guys are still racing right to the line. Yeah, and that's all we want, isn't it? We want these guys to be giving it all, all the way to the end. That's the uh, white and black, the 119 machine. You can see Team Ernie and the Badger sat behind Jack Van Eden. He sat nicely in P3 overall, but that does mean that the standard podium drops back to Team Ernie and the Badger, who is under pressure from the 65 machine of Harrison O'Keefe. So, Sean Whitaker with a ride for the ages. What a brilliant performance from the number one machine. Takes victory in the final Moto Team race of the weekend. That is superb. Further three racing in P2, Team Ernie the Badger in P3, and Harrison O'Keefe in P4. Guy Kite, or Sam Sadler P5, Guy Kite P6. Unfortunately lost Ben O'Keefe from the standard class. Now we're here at Ella Park. Everybody else has left. There's uh, just myself and Keith Bolton and another caravan over there. And I thought, it was a bank holiday weekend, I thought a few people have more stayed over. But um, I managed to get the uh, second overall in motor team. And I'm uh, yeah, quite pleased with that. Chilled. Next round. Make a shit out.